Hello, everybody. Welcome to Morning English. This is Summer. Hello, everyone. This is Colin. Summer. Recently, I found out something that is often overlooked by English learners. What is it? It's the usage of small words, especially some simple verbs. The important thing is how to use them right. I agree. The first one that I think is worth noticing is hit. Hit, H I T. 意思非常简单，就是打，击打。Yeah, well, we all know that we can hit somebody or something like he hits me. The car hit the bridge. 对，如果是身体的部位撞到哪里，还可以用 hit on something。比如说，我的头总是撞到了柜子。I often hit my head on the cabinet. Well, in this case, when we hit something, we get hurt or injured. 对，这个是 hit 最基本的一个意思。那接下来我们再看看这些表达，大家可能想不到还可以用到 hit。比如第一个，洗澡。I guess lots of you might say, take a shower or take a bath. Here we can also say, hit the shower. Especially when you take a shower quickly. Yeah. So when you finish your workout and you're all sweaty, you could say, "I'd better go hit the shower." 哎，这个表达特别有画面感。Shower 就可以指那个喷头，你打下那个喷头就是飞速的冲了一个澡。不过这里要注意冠词啊，要用 the hit the shower. People do their workout at the gym, right? To go to the gym, we can use the word hit. That's the hit the gym. I hear this a lot. Saying I'm hitting the gym is so much cooler than I'm going to the gym. <laughs> well, I agree.、Uh, I'm thinking about hitting the gym lately because you know summer is coming. 对，夏天来了，大家要准备去健身房了。所以下次啊，你要说要去健身，要去健身房，就可以用到这个特别地道的表达 hit the gym. So, Colin, are you really hitting the gym? No, it's just an example sentence. Okay, I go for hitting the gym, which is healthy. Let's move on. After hitting the gym, you would probably be very tired. What do you feel like doing after a workout, Summer?、Mm, nothing else but sleep. Sleeping is my way to recharge. Well, that might be the case for most people, and they will fall asleep the moment they hit the pillow. 哎，又是一个可以用到 hit 这个场景，大家听出来了吗？沾枕头就睡着。你可能会说 fall asleep on the pillow. 这里啊还可以用 hit， 这个画面就特别形象了。Hit the pillow. Actually, I don't need a workout to go sleep the moment I hit the pillow. Yeah, you can just go out like a light. <laughs> exactly. Other things we can hit is the problem. We can use it to talk about experiencing something unpleasant or difficult. Hit a problem. 意思就是又遇到了麻烦。平常常见的，我们可能会想到 have a problem, come across a problem. 这里大家可以再积累一个 hit a problem. These days, I think many companies hit trouble by not being able to pay their employees. Is this expression formal? Well, not really. So don't use it in your writing. Got it. 那这个 hit 好玩的用法还真不少。比如还有一个 hit it off. Yeah, to hit it off with somebody means to have a good relationship with somebody. 这个表达就是指两个人一拍即合，非常投缘。比如我和我的好朋友第一次见面呢，就特别合拍。My best friend and I just hit it off when we first met in school. It's nice. It hits me how I met my best friend in school. That goes way back, right? Yeah, but here is another usage of the word. We say it hits me. It means we suddenly start to remember something. Ah. 就比如我们忘记了一件事情，比如说忘记这个钥匙放哪了，但是突然我就想起来了。这个突然想起来就可以说 ，It hits me. It hits me where I put my key, or it hits me where my key is. All right. Here we can use hit as a verb, but we should also know it can be used as a noun. 你看，一个简单的小词做动词用法就这么多了，还可以做一个名词。那我们来讲其中一个用法吧。Hit 做名词呢，可以指一个受欢迎的人或者事情。Or a successful pop song or a record, like in this sentence. Have you listened to all the hits? Mm-hmm. I love all her old hits. 这里的 hits 就是经典老歌。All right. I think that's the time we have for today. Remember, knowing how to use these verbs correctly is very important. 
。对，把小词用好了呢，也会让表达更加地道准确。Let's hit the road. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thank you so much for listening. This is Colin. This is Summer. Bye for now.